Hey guys, how are you? Bricks Nostalgia here. Today we're going to review a customized version of a vintage Lego set. And what I'm talking about is uh, the double tech wagon that you see towards the right of the screen. Uh, this um, wagon is a customized version of uh, this uh, set that you see here, the very iconic club car set number 4547 from the uh, early 90s. Now, this set is very expensive in its uh, original form as um, the um, uh, transclear windows that you see there on the upper deck are extremely expensive as uh, they came out in that color only uh, in this set. Last time I checked on Bricklink, uh, the seller that had 10 of them available was selling them for £5 each, so way uh, too much uh, money for what i um, available to spend uh, on something like this. So um, I decided uh, to come up with an alternative um, solution and uh, what we are about to review is what came out of it. Now, um, there will be another option available, which would be to use these uh, transclear pieces in, in different colors. For example, in translucent blue or trans blue, um, they would be a lot cheaper, but I prefer not to go for a solution of this type because if you look at the other windows, uh, on this set and also at the metro liner you will see that um, all the other glasses for windows are in trans clear so for the sake of consistency I wanted to stick to something to a solution that had uh, uh, trans clear windows uh, in it so that's what came out of it I'm uh, quickly um, I'm presenting it at, this, at the beginning of the video um, attached I'm presenting the wagon attached to the metro liner uh, just to just to give you an understanding of how uh, how the whole thing uh, will blend uh, together and I think it will uh, it does blend fairly well so I'm quite satisfied with what uh, came out of it so let's just Oh, okay, just very last thing I would like to point out. You can see there is uh, the metro liner is a bit customized. Uh, um, it's that's due to the fact that I had to take some of the pieces off the metro liner to put together um, the double deck wagon. I needed um, some doors and some of these uh, um, special slopes uh, that make. Uh, they make the the roof of the wagon um, so yeah I had to go for a bit of customization to keep everything all together but uh, this is just temporary once uh, I will place uh, once I will get the pieces I'm missing from Bricklink uh, then I will restore everything in its uh, original conditions so let's um, um, let, let me separate uh, the wagon and uh, let's uh, go for a close-up. Okay, so with regards to the wagon, I pretty much uh, follow uh, the original instructions um, as much as I could until I was really forced uh, to customize. And uh, the customization turned out to be quite heavy only on um, two parts uh, of the build. The very first one is um, with regards to this line uh, that you see over here and the second one is uh, the roof uh, section of the build. Now with regards to the line what happens in the original set is that over here there's a, um, there's a panel with, uh, a printed, uh, with a printed pattern that uh, connects this uh, line that you see here with uh, this other line uh, that you see here on a higher height. Uh, I don't have those panels uh, so what I decided to go for was a brick built solution and uh, this is what came out of it. I actually do like uh, 
this uh, different option a lot more for the fact that it uses a brick build uh, method. So this is what came out of it. Uh, it's a bit different, but I like it. With regards to uh, the upper section, so let's uh, talk about it. Let's remove. Uh, uh, let, let's remove the roof and what you can see is that pretty much it's like a normal uh, roof, the normal um, roof that will be used for, um, that will be built for um, the passenger wagon of the Metroliner and then attached there are a lot of uh, these trans clear 2x2 two two panels, not much more. Now, the, the only important thing that is worth mentioning is that you really need uh, to use uh, these uh, special slopes that you see here in order to make things functional as uh, to use these pieces allows, uh, allows you to have um, enough space over here in order to be able, once uh, you put the roof back in place, to have enough space for the minifix heads. If you try different solutions, um, like I did, what happens is that you will have the heads clashing always uh, with the roof and uh, simply not, uh, not, make, not allowing you to close uh, the roof. Um, there's something I would like to point out here. Um, you might have spotted that there are some blue pieces. So what's happening is this: you have to adjust the length uh, of the roof accordingly, and um, you're gonna have to um, use four of these pieces over here, these uh, small uh, slopes that you see here. Now I have only two available, and they are in blue. So I put a little bit of electrical tape just for uh, the sake of the video, just for you to see how things are supposed to be if uh, the piece of the right color was uh, put in place. In place. Um, there are different um, solutions available. Another one is to use these as very small slopes. Uh, but it's not, at least for me, it's not my favorite solution because it breaks up the line over here. Now, it gives some extra texture to the build, but it's not uh, my favorite. So it's an option, but I prefer to stick to the one that uses the, these pieces. Uh, in order to be able to fit minifigs in it, on top of making sure that you use these special slopes, you're going to have to lower down uh, a little bit of, of um, just a little bit, just one plate. You have to lower these uh, deck down one plate in order to have the little extra space that will allow you to fit everything in. Now this has, was done just uh, removing some um, three plates that were uh, supposed to be over here in the original set so minor change uh, that uh, is not gonna make really make any particular difference in practice okay so pretty much I will say that that's it I really like what came out uh, of it the bottom section is the same uh, as uh, in the original build uh, there's plenty of space available here on the bottom section so no customizations were needed uh, so I think pretty much that's it guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this review, I hope that some of you are going to find this um, option uh, uh, useful. Um, now I'm, uh, I'm off uh, to break link to place an order for the missing parts. Um, with regards to you, feel free guys to rate, comment and subscribe in order to stay updated for more uh, uh, videos that will be uploaded over the next few weeks. Okay, so thank you very much. Bye-bye.